Wow, looks like I've sure got myself in a sticky situation. I wonder how I'll get out of this one. Why do I keep getting in trouble? Why do I keep doing these things I do? Why can't I just be like every other YouTuber that sits around and makes stupid 20 minute videos about Super Mario speed runs or whatever else? No, I have to go out and get in trouble. And today, oh my God, guys, I'm in a lot of trouble. But before we get into it, I just wanna remind you, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. We're trying to grow Vito Nation. So every one of you who clicks that button, I appreciate you more than you could ever know. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I want to kiss you on the mouth. Okay, I'm going a little overboard. Let's get into the story. Now, some of you might have heard that there has been a bit of a controversy involving Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle recently on Netflix put out a comedy special where he had some things to say about the transgender community. And uh, some members of the transgender community have said that this was uh, horrible what he did. These jokes are offensive. And some have even said uh, it's hate speech, what he said. And because of this, these uh, Netflix employees, obviously Netflix, uh, put out the special. So some of their trans employees are not too happy. Organized a walkout in downtown Los Angeles. They were going to walk out, protest for their rights. Okay. And then I heard about it. And I went, wait, I live in Los Angeles. And I hate to say it, I don't necessarily agree with this protest. I don't agree with getting so angry at a comedy special that you have to have a protest and, and tell one of the greatest comedians of all time that he's spreading hate speech. I, I don't agree with that. So what I did is I called up my buddy, Dick Masterson. Maybe some of you don't know this. I'm currently doing a podcast with the great Dick Masterson. You can check it out over at biggestproblem.show. Me and him, we argue about all sorts of problems. It's actually a pretty darn good podcast, and you can find it You can find it on YouTube as well. You can watch us argue about stuff. So I call up my buddy Dick, and I go, Dick, have you heard about this pro this protest, this anti-Dave Chappelle protest? He said, I have heard about it. You know, I said, we should go down there, and uh, I mean, we're both comedians. I think we should support comedy. And he agreed with me. So what we did at 8 o'clock in the morning, we got up early, which I hate doing. I hate that I had to wake up early for this, but I did it for you, the people out there watching this video. I got up early. I picked up Dick. We went to Target. We had a little arts and crafts session. We made some signs. Uh, as you can see, Dick's sign, very offensive, said, Dave is funny. I'm offended just reading it. I'm offended just reading it. And uh, let's see. I think I have a picture of one of my signs somewhere. Oh, mine said jokes are funny. I think like I'm burying the lead here. The point is, we went to the protest, and uh, people were mad. People were mad at us. Here you can see the Dave is funny, jokes are funny, two for one special. You got both of us in that shot. So, um, this this was a day. There's a lot going on here. I want to go through some of it. Now, I want to be clear. I am gonna make a second video. If you look at some of these videos, you can see that I'm holding my own camera. So I have all my own footage. It's all exclusive footage you haven't seen before. And I am gonna put together my whole big, uh, you know, mashup of everything that happened, all the news cover. Every news station is covering this. Right now, friggin' uh, Tim Pool's talking about it over on his chat. I've been interviewed by a bunch of people. So I will try to give you the full exclusive access sometime next week. But man, I got a lot. I got like hours of newscasts to go through, like literally hour long news programs. So here was, we kind of showed up. I think this was pretty early in the day. Let's take a look at this. So again, I'm. Ch <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm chanting, "We like jokes. Jokes are funny." You you understand how stupid? This and let's be clear. The idea we we believe this is an absurd protest. It is absurd to tell Dave Chappelle to not make jokes about trans people. Uh, I hate to say it. Transgender issues are huge right now. It's everybody. We're all talking about it. It's one of the most. Biggest politicized topics of our day. The idea that a comedian is not going to talk about it is, like, ridiculous. You get that that's ridiculous. 
So we are being equally ridiculous by chanting, we like jokes. Uh, and the fact that everyone is mad at us just adds to the absurdity of this situation. Okay, I'm such an idiot. I'm in charge of the protest now! I'm in charge! <laughs> People apparently really like where I announce, I'm in charge of the protest now. It's a pretty good line, I'm not gonna lie. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! See, that's, that's the other thing is that, so then this lady comes in, she was real mad at me. And she starts going, Black Lives Matter, you know? Like, she thought that would, like, maybe make me upset or something. And I'm like, no, nah, you're right. Black Lives Matter, absolutely. I've been behind Black Lives Matter the whole time, man. Uh, yeah, 100%. So I start chanting along with her, and I think she got mad that I was on her side. Dick starts going, jokes matter, which uh, I think made some people upset. Okay, point is, we're there. We got the signs. I mean, let's be real. You're in a public place. You're 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 running around saying you want to cancel comedy, cancel Dave Chappelle. You got to accept that some people are going to show up and uh, maybe have a different opinion than you. Isn't that the great thing about free speech? And that, let's be clear. We're not taking their free speech away. I want you to say whatever you want to say about Dave. I just think you're wrong. And I don't think it's wrong of me to show up and say, I don't know, I don't agree. I don't agree. I think you guys are being a little ridiculous. Okay, you're being a little sensitive. And I'll even say this. Look, I see some people say things about trans people where I go, whoa, 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 over the line. Too much. Okay? But nothing Dave said was anywhere close to, you know, saying you outright hate these people or you want to see them, you know, hurt. You want to take their jobs away. Okay? That's all over the line. Dave said nothing of the sort. And I look at these people and I go, well, uh, maybe, maybe if you're worried about, you know, how people treat trans people, I mean, aren't there people out there who really want to hurt them, who really want to do them wrong? I don't think Dave Chappelle is one of those guys. Anyway, so the big clip, this was later on, and this got so many, so many views. As I was driving home, we were watching this. We were watching this when it was at like 200 quote tweets. And I'm like, oh shit, this is blowing up. It's now at 3,000 quote tweets. This is a night. This is a night. I say it's a nightmare. Like, I should obviously be happy that everyone's like, oh, hey, look at that funny fat guy. But part of me is like, man, Antifa's going to come and burn all my stuff. Uh, so this was later on in the day. This was when they started having the, you know, trans speakers speaking. And uh, I tried to join in the fun. I was going Trans Lives Matter. Uh, but again, man, I'm there to support comedy. I'm there. I gotta. I gotta want my sign to be seen. I want people to hear my message, and uh, here's what happened. Why you breaking my sign? Why you breaking my sign? Why is you breaking my sign? Don't have free speech rights. Don't have free speech rights. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can see what happened. Is this dude in blue is real mad? Uh, grabs my sign right there, rips it out of my hand, puts it on the ground, starts stepping on it. Now, a couple of people have come to me and they say, we figured out who this guy is. He's a writer at Netflix. Like, he's writing for their shows. I'm not going to identify him. Uh, I mean, I just don't want to, I don't want to be a part of that. The guy seems to have a family or whatever else. I'm like, I'm going to try and stay out of this for now. Um, but it is pretty, pretty bad look from Netflix that your employees are like, I don't know, violent? Look, man, you can say this guy's being an obnoxious asshole by being here with the sign and, you know, uh, hijacking our protest or whatever. You know, Okay, again, I have free speech rights. I have every right to be in this public area as much as anybody else. And if my voice heard, and my voice is, you guys are nuts and Dave did nothing wrong. Okay, that's it. Okay, and if you don't like it, you can have a protest. Go hold it inside. Find, a you know, an office building or a private whatever. I mean, it's Netflix headquarters. I'm not allowed to go into Netflix. So if you guys have like a private, you know, back room or whatever, you can have your little protest in there. But if you're out on the street, the fat guy's allowed to be there yelling, we like jokes, we like jokes. Uh, anyway, this Netflix writer <laughs> destroys my sign. Why is he breaking my sign? Why is he breaking my sign? Don't you have free speech rights? Don't you have free speech rights to follow you? Oh, how much? That's 
He's got a weapon. He's got a weapon. Okay, it definitely is him who says it. Okay, so, wow, that's really messed up. That's so stupid. He's yelling it. I see his mask moving. So after they break my sign, they yell, because I'm now holding what was left of my sign, which is just a wooden stick, okay, Because which is snapped in half because they broke it in half. So this guy who broke my sign in half now goes, he's got a weapon. 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 Oh, you want me to drop my weapon? Yes. Okay. Get in me. There's my weapon. See, uh, uh, wow, that... Because so, somebody asked me, a journalist asked me, he said, is the same guy who broke your stick the one who yelled he's got a weapon? And I was like, I don't know. It was too much going on. I assume not because that's ridiculous. No. It's literally the guy who broke... He knew he broke my sign. He knows that what I'm holding is what's remaining of my sign. And he yells, he's got a weapon. Okay, and you guys, do you guys know why he's doing that? He's doing that because the hope is that a security guard or god forbid like a police officer hears that and goes he's got a weapon pulls his you know sidearm and puts a couple bullets in my chest or at least like you know that the mob descends on me and goes he's got a weapon we got to stop this this active violent guy like literally the only reason i can think of to yell that is that you want immediate harm to come to that person so you want to tell everyone oh he's violent he's got a weapon like, you know get him Luckily, I, the crowd was not that stupid where they go, no, he's holding the half of a stick from the sign you just destroyed. Okay. Well, when I thought someone just random in the crowd yelled that, I wasn't as mad. But now that I know a Netflix writer tried to get me killed, I'm a little not happy. That sucks. That's really shitty, dude. Man, like, I know we disagree. And I don't even think we disagree as much as you think we do. But... Oh, man, I don't know. I'm having feelings all of a sudden. I'm not happy about that. Anyway, I'll try to move on, but now I am kind of like, ooh, what the hell? So I go back. He's got a weapon. <laughs> oh, you want me to drop my weapon? Yes. Okay. Get in me. There's my weapon. I dropped my weapon. See? I'm even being nice. I'm being reasonable. I dropped it. You can't be mad at me after I drop it. I'm just here to say that jokes are funny, people. Dave Chappelle is a funny guy. I love Dave. I don't know why. Okay, so I could not even tell what this chick was yelling at me with the tambourine. I guess she was yelling, and I hear it now, is she's going, Rep repent, mother effer. What do you want me to repent for? I don't even know what I, I didn't even make the jokes. What am I repenting for? This is becoming like a cult, like a re repent. What religion is this that I have to repent for my sins? I didn't, I, okay, I, I don't know what I did. I made a sign I thought was funny and I showed up to support comedians, comedy. I was kind of mad that more comedians weren't out there. I wanted there to be like Bill Burr and everybody else. I don't know why I always go to Bill Burr, but literally any other comedians could have been there to show their support. Instead, it's me and Dick Masterson. I feel like every comedian in Hollywood should have showed up. All right. So I give my little speech. The violence. I don't know why all the hate. I just love Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. All right. And that's basically it is uh, I let them know I love Dave Chappelle. Uh, and I got this great pick of me and me and uh, uh, Dick. Sorry. After the pot, uh, after the. I'm all flustered because I just found out a Netflix employee tried to kill me. Sorry. I'm stumbling over my words. We got a great picture afterwards. Uh, I didn't get to take a sign home with me because my sign got destroyed and stolen by the mob. Uh, Dick managed to get out with his, even though somebody did try to steal it from him. I mean, that's the other part of this. And I'm going to cover this all in my video that's coming up is, uh, man, this whole day was just wild just wild i mean here you have variety goes it looks like counter protesters pushing against trans i wasn't pushing against anyone they were pushing against me they found this picture trying to make it look like i was like violent dude you can see i'm laughing i'm joking with them like i didn't do nothing to nobody this i hate this picture because of the lighting but now nah, i guess i'm coming around on this picture i love dave Chappelle. 
I'm just quickly going through everything that's going on. I made TMZ. It's a pretty good shot on TMZ, not going to lie. Uh, and I do, but I do want to point out that, look, man, people were going a little too hard here. This guy came up behind Dick, shoved him to the ground. Dick hit his head on the concrete. Like, he was wor we were worried that he might have had a concussion. He literally just fell and smacked his head because this dude... Like, shoved him over, like, got in, did a little trip move or whatever, and was trying to mad dog us out of the event. As we were leaving, uh, this one Antifa streamer guy who had been, like, attacking us the whole day chased after our car with a bunch of his buddies. I literally, I was like, Dick, I want to hang out, like, get a beer, but I got to go straight home. I'm worried Antifa is going to, like, find my house, break my shit. Uh, again, why? Because we showed up and we, we were funny. We had a funny time. Uh, point is, God, that's a great picture. I gotta get, I gotta get some high resolution stills of this. What do I want to say? Here's what I want to say to you, the people who I love. Maybe this will sound weird, but I, I want to thank you guys for supporting me and my comedy because I realize that as I do stuff like this, uh, there's, I, I can't work in the mainstream ever again. It's never going to happen. I used to be like, oh, I could like write for TV or I could like have a shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Cause the mainstream is now controlled by, by psychopaths and weirdos. Okay, the fact that I'm on the side of Dave Chappelle is going to get me blacklisted. Think about how crazy that is. That's crazy. That Because I'm on the side of one of the greatest comedians of all time, that they're now going to say I'm a crazy bigot. And why? Let's go back to it because I'm holding up a jokes are funny sign. It's madness. We live in madness. So what I want to say is thanks to everybody who supports the channel so much. Everybody who subscribes. Everybody who follows what I do. Everybody who supports me on Patreon. Like, literally, I could not do this without you. I could not. And you know why other comedians aren't there? Because they don't have the support of an audience like you guys. Other comedians are like, oh, I would like to go to that protest and stand up for comedy. But if I get canceled, my life is over. Whereas I can go, you know what? If they cancel me, I will know at least there is an audience on YouTube for the podcast, whatever else, that supports what I do. And, and it, it lets me actually go out there. And I hate to say it. This is funny. People watch this and they said, this is a very funny thing that you did and I don't disagree with them. And the only reason this happened is because you guys supporting me. Okay. And because of that, I'm going to do a couple plugs real quick. Okay. Cause your guys support means everything. And I hope you guys can keep helping me out. I want you to check out biggest problem show. I want you to subscribe over on YouTube. Uh, this podcast is great. Again, Dick was great helping me out at the event. So please look up The Biggest Problem in the Universe. Subscribe to our, our podcast. You're going to love it. I also really got you guys to uh, check out my Patreon, all right? I don't normally plug it, but today is going to be one of those days where I go, look, if you can sign up for two bucks a month, and not everybody has to do this. This is only if you have money. If you don't have money, I, I totally get it. But if you really like what I'm doing and you want to support it, if you can give me two bucks a month, five bucks a month. Again, everybody right now, I'm getting like 1200 a month, okay? this makes I can do comedy because of you guys. It's like a fucking blessing. It blows my mind every day. So thank you for checking that out. And I also want to mention real quick that I have a comic book that I'm going to be putting out. I'm going to do a Kickstarter. I'm super excited about this. It's called Super Killer. I have the best artist in the world working on this thing. In the description, I've got a link to my mailing list. If you're a guy who's into comics... Uh, crazy, bloody, funny comics. This comic's going to be fucking fantastic. I'm really excited for it. So in the comments or in the description, there is a link to the mailing list if you want to get notified when it goes live on Kickstarter. So those are the things I'm working on right now. Uh, again, I got a big video of everything that went down that I'm definitely going to have up. Hopefully, I mean, I say Monday, but it's probably going to take me a couple days to go through all this footage. So thank you to everybody for your support. I can't, I can't stress enough how important it is, especially now when they're trying to cancel comedians. They don't want us to make comedy. They, they fucking hate us and they hate that you guys, they hate that I can go online and have, find an audience. They would love if they controlled it all. Like they always used to, if they controlled the media, control all the comedy channels and all the late night shows, whatever else controlled the Hollywood, but they don't anymore. You have the fucking control and that's beautiful. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for following my shit. And check back when I got the full video up coming next week. I love you guys with my fucking dick. <laughs> thank you so much. I need to lie down.